Okay, welcome to the Agenda Hapstone. Today we will do the build. To begin, open your Hapstone. Okay, you'll find inside an instruction manual. Please read it. Okay, we have our parts here. And we'll come back in a second and build it. Alright, so, to begin. Take out the main base here. These parts are already attached. Okay. We're going to take out the front plate, the front feet here. Flip it over. I'm going to unscrew these two screws. Now be careful, the magnet is in here. And it's a very strong magnet. So the screws might have some trouble coming off. This plate does move a little bit, so just make sure it's centered. And your magnet is actually inside there. Uh, so that's what's all the magic. But it's not pretty tight. Okay, next. Take the base. Now be careful because this does slap on there. So what we're going to do is align the holes. Make sure you get the right spacing. This is the hardest part of the whole thing because of the magnets. So get the holes right. We're going to come in. Find that hole. Thread the screw and tighten that down. Other side. It's real tricky with the magnet because it pulls it in all the directions. Okay, once you're there, we're secure. Give it a good turn. You're good to go. Alright, so that's done. I flip it over. Gonna dig out from our box. We have a thick rod, and this is our angle rod. We have the other end of the arm extension here. I'm gonna put that down for now. And we have two drill stop collars. Okay, so we're gonna take here the, the ones with the lines on it. Make sure the numbers are standing upright, not upside down. Okay. Into the back hole. This is, should be loose already. We loosen it up. And then put the numbers again facing upright towards the front here that has the number guide and the lines on it okay so that here you can see the lines here secure this you gonna tie it pretty tight it's pretty good it's not going anywhere all right after we've secured this we're going to come back to our box we're going to take out the other components we have a, the drill stop collar that actually goes on the bottom that down and probably just put it down at the bottom for now we'll get to that later we'll use that once we're all assembled okay then back to the box okay this is our new universal ball bearing joint and the, the new uh, rest the arm rest here for when you're not working and you're switching stones or moving the knife around it's actually rest so it's a really new innovation here so loosen this up, put this up, make sure the rest is on the top. Okay, put that down wherever at the moment. We're gonna put it towards the top here, just to have it out of the way. And you have to tighten this pretty well here. Not just a little bit, but you gotta get it nice and tight and it's sturdy there, it's not moving. So you're good to go. Next, I'm gonna take and finish that. This are the agenda versions come with an extra drill stop collar here. And this is for creating uh, the two, you can actually use this if you're doing two angles. You can do a low and a high preset angle. So you can measure that out later. Set your angle for low and put the drill stop collar on here. So there's enough clearance here, it doesn't interfere with anything. Use the key to lock it down. Give you a little play there. So there's your low angle and you come switch around, there's your higher angle. And there's your higher angle. So then you can switch between the two very easily preset. You don't have to measure out every single time if you're using just two angles. So that's another feature that the Genda version has that the, uh, the regular B6 doesn't. The next step, remove the marker. We don't need that just yet. We're going to pull out the business end of the, the arm. Okay. There's a wing nut here. I'm going to loosen that. We're going to take that extra rod that was in the back here 
I'm gonna take that rod. Uh, really doesn't matter which way. I'm gonna stick that into the hole. Okay. And we're gonna tighten down the wing nut. This is your extension rod. All right. Tighten that down. Then we're gonna place that into the universal ball bearing here. So again, the beauty of this is that when you're not using it, it rests. So you can change your stone or move your knife around. You can move that out of the way. Because before, you had to just kind of put it off to the side somewhere and always ding or bang something or get, you know, it's just kind of cumbersome. So that's if I tighten that, it might help. Boom. There, you can work and do what you got to do. All right, next is the last piece remaining. And it's this little uh, stop collar again that is for the how long it's going to be so if you don't want to overrun when you're sharpening if you don't want to run the stone over where it should be so this is adjusted as a backstop so you can work as much or as little as you need to so this creates another a backstop here so that will be adjusted as needed all right so you get three stock stones with the half stone, with the agenda half stone and the regular half stone, you get a 220, a 400, and a 1200. And to mount these, they don't have aluminum mountings like the regular stones do, but basically, we're going to take that into here. We're going to adjust this. This is our sort of uh, how long it's going to be for each stone. So you can see here, it's going to fit into a certain length. So we're going to butt the stone up against the back and then the stop here. What we're going to do is remove that. We're going to come in a little bit, just keeps it tighter, tighten this down. So now that this is slightly shorter than the stone itself, you see the spaces here, the gap. Then I'm going to pull the spring here, spring loaded, and this will be a tension fit. Boom, there you go. Okay, straighten that out. And uh, it's a pretty good fit, it's pretty tight, it's pretty sturdy. Still, just be careful, it could fall always. But just it shouldn't with proper use there it is and to switch it out you're just pulling and whoop, we were on the rest switch out same thing stone is the same length pull the spring pop it in you're ready to go on the next angle um, this is it you're set up and you're ready to go 